Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to look at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed. So let's jump right in. As always, it's a general reading, so will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also this reading will be for those of you who have some sort of a connection with someone already or someone in mind. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's see what's going on in your connection. What's the energy surrounding this connection, Spirit? The energy surrounding Scorpio. Reach out. Contact, exchange, touch, take the initiative to reach out. What else can you tell me about the energy surrounding this connection? So someone wants to talk, to communicate here. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. Hmm. Someone has had a light bulb moment. Oh, bottom of the deck, I have broken silence. So someone who could be breaking the silence, opening up, speaking to you, um, or maybe this is vice versa. All right, so let's get into the tarot. I have one deck for you, one deck for your person. I'm going to have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Scorpio. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? This is Tarot of the Divine, I think. All of the uh, decks that I use are linked in the description box. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling? when it comes to this connection or this other person's spirit. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Oh, I got two. Starting off with the Ten of Wands and right after that, the Ten of Swords reverse. So I feel like there has already been some sort of ending here. Or someone has is close to ending something with the Ten of Wands. Uh, maybe they're burdened. We'll, we'll see because I'm going to clarify all of these. Strength, Leo energy here. Yeah, someone needs to be strong. Um, possibly uh, this is you wanting to um, kind of regain control over the situation because I feel like, yeah, Queen of Cups reverse at the bottom. Um, with the Six of Swords right after that. So I feel like there's been heartbreak, disappointment. Maybe you've left a situation or a connection here with this person or something else in your life. You're kind of heading towards a new, moving forward, heading towards something new. So the Ten of Wands is here. It tells me that you're almost at the finish line. It hasn't officially happened yet. So let's see. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. What else can you tell me about Scorpio? What's the energy that Scorpio is bringing to this connection? Well, so a lot of emotions here, a lot of depth. I feel like you've been through a lot. You've probably learned along the way. Um, you could also be burying your emotions deep. Let's clarify. I'm going to just clarify separately and the other readings i haven't been doing that but i feel like doing that for your reading tell me more spirit help me clarify these energies for scorpio tell me about the ten of wands so we'll dig into you and then we'll jump into your person tell me about the ten of wands please what's this ten of wands about queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. A lot of fire. Nine of Swords. Wow, Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. We'll talk about sudden realization. Judgment card is all about an awakening. Um, learning from the past. Justice reverse right after that. I feel like there's something that's not quite right. And Justice is here to kind of... I don't know. It's almost like it, things have not been fair or just. So justice is here kind of to remind you of what isn't right, if that makes sense. There's clarity about the fact that something is not right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. There's fear here with the Nine of Swords. And this is in regards to some sort of a connection. 
uh, with the two of cups here there's fear and i feel like the fear is regarding like an action or um maybe being bold here because i have the queen of wands I feel like you've had some sort of awakening about a connection. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Nine of cups. This is something you want, but there's fear. Yeah, the magician at the bottom of the deck. You want to manif you're manifesting this. You're manifesting a connection. Um, a, co a connection that is emotionally fulfilling. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Maybe you've gone through something in your life. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? I feel like this has already happened, this Ten of Swords. Six of Cups. Wow, okay. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse, please. Five of Cups reverse. Hmm. I feel like you might be the one that might want to reach out here. Ten of Cups reverse. The Empress at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Wands. Yes. I feel like you might be the one that wants to get something started here. Or wants to communicate with maybe an Empress-like energy. Someone that you value. Uh, maybe you want to grow something with someone. But I have three tens here. And they're all on your side. Well, obviously, because I'm, I'm just doing your energies right now. But this was a difficult ending something happened in the past here and i feel like you want to go back to it because i have the six of cups with the five of cups reverse i feel like there's something in the past that you're still kind of dealing with yeah king of cups reverse this is heartbreak disappointment here So whatever ending happened, and I'm trying to figure out if this is an ending that happened with this other person, or if this is just outside of this other person. There's there's the Five of Cups reverse. So it's like someone wants to overcome a difficult past or overcome and regain what they've lost, you know? And I feel like this is all about kind of like leaving the past behind, but it's like not really. Why why is the five of cups reversed with the six of cups? This could be a soulmate connection. Ace of cups. Yes, so it's with the past. That's what I'm trying to say. There's the sun. There's something here. My my thoughts are not what I'm saying is not what <laughs> I can't talk today. Scorpio, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like the cards are making more sense than I am. <laughs> I know what I want to say, but it's hard to say it. Maybe that's what this person, maybe this is how you feel. I feel like this is new love with a past connection or a past life connection. Um, I feel like you want to communicate with this person. Tell me about the strength card. Why is strength here? Two of Swords, strength or courage to make a decision. Why is strength here? So you're undecided. Yeah, okay, so you need to um, have courage to face challenges, um, to resist, to fight, to stand firm. Okay, these two wanted to come out. Four of Swords and the Knight of Coin. So I feel like you're thinking about Something that might take some time here with the Knight of Coin. Have the Page of Cups reverse, Ace of Swords reverse, Tower reverse. What the hell? Knight of Wands reverse. You've dealt with some serious, difficult situations here. I feel like a tower happened in your life. I don't know if it has anything to do with this other person, but it happened to you. Um... I feel like after this difficult situation happened, this burden that you're still carrying, I feel like it, you know that the road ahead is going to be difficult. Um, there's challenges. There's going to be possibly it's going to take a long time to really get this moving. What's this Knight of Coin about? 
But it's like, I feel like you're willing to fight for this, whatever this is, whether it's having a, an opportunity here with the Knight of Coin. What's this Knight of Coin about? The sun. This is about you being happy. You going after what makes you happy. This could be that sudden realization, that light bulb moment. See how there's like a light bulb there. And then I, I'm kind of seeing the same thing here with the sun. So that you could be having serious clarity about what you truly want. Tell me more about this Knight of Coin, and then we'll move on to your person. Tell me more about this Knight of Coin, please, for Scorpio. Three of Cups. It's like a reunion here. You want to come together, celebrate. I feel like you're realizing who, who you want to be with, what you truly want for yourself. So let's, ooh, okay. Let's look at your person. Tell me, Spirit, about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. What are their energies? Tell me about this person that Scorpio is in a connection with Spirit. And tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Four of Cups reverse. So they're having renewed interest in something, opening themselves up to a new opportunity, having a change of heart here. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. What else can you tell me about this person? The Nine of Cups, holy crap. What's this? Five of Swords, interesting. I feel there was some sort of conflict between you, but I feel like you're both in the same boat. I think you're marrying each other here um, because they're thinking about what's emotionally fulfilling as well. You have the Nine of Cups, they have the Nine of Cups. You have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, they have the Lovers. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Well, actually, let me get their energy here with an Oracle card. All right, tell me more about this person's energy, please. Tell me more about this person's energy. Oh, hyena and owl. I feel like this person is hiding behind something. Um, there is a special, a special, special message. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I don't know what's going on. Um, the owl is almost like a gift being brought or something special. But with the hyena here, I feel like someone's hiding. Hiding behind a mask or hiding their true feelings here. Or maybe um, they feel like they can't express it openly. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Maybe it just wasn't the right time. Yeah, Three of Wands and Ten of Wands. I feel like there was some something kind of in the way here. Um... I feel like there wasn't something between you and this other person, Scorpio. I feel like it wasn't the right time. And I feel like it's, it's, there's some sort of baggage here. And I, you're both feeling it because you both have the Ten of Wands. Why is the Lovers here? The lovers is a choice, really, between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. Why is the Lovers here? The Emperor reverse Aries energy. Why is the lovers here? The Sun reverse. So you have clarity. You know what you want. You have the Sun upright. 
Theirs is reversed, so I feel like they're hiding something. Yeah, there's the Five of Swords. The world, wow. So when I'm getting here, I feel like this person, they're hiding something. I don't know what it is, but they're hiding something. With the Five of Swords, and the sun reverse. But I have the world here. So it's almost like um, this is part of a cycle. Like maybe there's something wrapping up for, for your person and now they're ready for a new cycle. But with the emperor reverse, this is someone that doesn't have, feels powerless. They feel powerless. And I feel it's because they don't have clarity. So you know something, but they don't. And there's, I feel like it's causing problems for your person. That's why reaching out is so important. I feel like a conversation between the both of you is very important here. Because I think the fact that one of you knows what you're feeling and has had a sudden realization and, and, and knows, you know, it's probably planning, you know, what to do and is ready to possibly make a difficult decision. I don't think the other person is in that boat exactly. Okay, so let me find out first. Why is the Emperor reverse? Why is the Emperor reverse? This could also be somebody difficult that they're dealing with. Page of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, see, the High Priest is reversed. So I feel like they might be communicating here. See how um, in this deck she has like a, a pen that she's writing with. But it's going to be like a reveal of some sort because they're not, they're not communicating something here. What's the world about? Why is the world here? The Empress Reverse. So you have the Empress somewhere in here. I think this is about timing. Four of Wands, wow. Stability, structure. So there's something here that hasn't manifested with the Empress Reverse. Also, I feel like with the Empress Reverse and the Emperor Reverse, there is a disconnect here between you. Yep, and there's the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And right behind that, the Six of Wands. So it's almost like communication needs to happen. There needs to be some sort of action or communication that happens here in order, I feel, to start a new cycle that's more stable. Because right now, things are not really working out here. There's, there's a disconnect between you here. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse and the Empress Reverse Spirit. Why, why are these two reverse? Tell me more about these two energies, please. The Hangman Reverse. Somebody needs to, yeah, somebody needs to take some sort of action. Oh. Three of Pentacles Reverse and the Strength card. Courage is needed here. For someone to either let go of something or, you know, not be stuck anymore. Hmm. So why is the Nine of Cups here? What's this Nine of Cups about? Justice. Yeah. Libra energy. So you had justice reverse over here. Something hasn't, you know, wasn't fair. I feel like this person, they're kind of in the same boat too. Like if, if justice was served, if things were made right and balanced again, I would have so much emotional fulfillment. My wish would be granted. King of Wands. Yep. Beautiful. Have the Two of Swords reverse. So they would have to make a choice too. You both need to make a choice. I feel like this reaching out needs to be mutual. The Magician Reverse. Yeah, this isn't happening right now. I feel like there's delays or someone doesn't feel like they have what it takes. Ah, uh, yeah, they would need to take a risk, the Fool. 
Yeah. So you're both kind of like in different paths, but parallel. <laughs> yeah. The tower reversed over here for your person. Yeah, the nine of wands. I feel like th this tower moment probably happened between you and you both are still dealing with it. So where is this headed? Let's see what deck do I want to use? I used this one. I haven't used it in a long time. Spirit. Where is this headed in the near future? Where is this headed between Scorpio and this other person? What's next for this connection? In the near future, please. What's next? Page of Cups, reverse. What's next for this connection, please? Wow, Ten of Pentacles, reverse. Temperance, okay, so that's, these are delays, I feel. Okay, Four of Cups, reverse. The Two of Swords and Justice. <laughs> so we're kind of getting the same energies here. I feel like a decision needs to be made here. A difficult decision to make things right. It's going to require a change of heart or someone to change their mind here. And that's, it's going to take time to bring this together, but I feel like it's going to come together in time. Um, we have another 10 here reversed. So I feel like this is an end of a cycle, multiple cycles. I feel like you're going through an end of a cycle. They're going through an end of a cycle and both of you together is an, it's, you know, because I have an ace of cups for you and then a fool for them. So it's almost like this is all headed towards a new beginning here. And you both, I feel, are heading towards that, being guided towards that. Let me see. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you? Forgot to pull these earlier. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio Spirit? He's secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio. I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. I have a choice to make. Yes. I feel like you both do. Can you tell me, Spirit? It's all my fault. I want you. Okay. Something is okay. I want a second chance at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, yes, or you, there, you have history with this person. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Leave me a comment if it resonated for you, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.